Sarah Catholic has canceled school for the rest of the week and activities through Sunday, and they will have grief counselors on campus tomorrow to help deal with this loss. Police tell us the crash happened right here, though. This is 3rd and Richmond, and investigators say the driver of the school van was attempting to make a left-hand turn, carrying students to school when he collided with a car, killing 15-year-old Samantha Kalkbrenner, a sophomore at Sarah Catholic, and hurting five others. I ran over to the kids and took my sweatshirt off, started putting it on the kids, um, trying to help stop bleeding and keep them alert. I Jessica McCauley and her husband stumbled on this scene seconds after the Sarah Catholic van and the white car hit. This video was taken shortly after she called 911 and police and family were on the scene. When McCauley pulled over, she says the van had rolled and the car was on fire. While she went to the kids, her husband went to the flames. He started breaking the windows out in the car to see who was in it, and he saw that it was on fire. He couldn't get the guy out, so he ran over and grabbed bottled water from the car and just started dumping water on the engine bay. So it went out, luckily, and you know, and then he tr got a bunch of people over to the van to try to flip it over to get, the, get it off the girl. They couldn't. Samantha Kalkbrenner died at the scene. Innocent little children are going to school. And this, these parents don't have their baby today. So if your baby. Amy Kokva was outside a nearby convenience store when she saw the crash. She says the school van driver stopped at the stop sign and waited before pulling out. McCauley says the car the van collided with passed her seconds earlier on the Mansfield Bridge. She says the driver appeared to be racing a Jeep. It had to be going 90 easily and they took off. As soon as we got here, we saw the fire and I said, that's a school bus. The three other students on board the school van were taken to the hospital but are recovering. Allegheny County Police are investigating. Indra Vosberg, Marcy Cipriani, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.